Welcome to another episode of Teach Me. When it comes to Alyssa and thinking about an American player, we have to think about Cuddlecore. So we got Cuddlecore, that's an amazing tournament player. I would like to say one of the top players in America. We got her on board. We got her on board to do the Teach Me. I want to know the season four changes. So if you don't like this video and like the series, remember to subscribe, leave a comment and smash the like button. Let's get into it. Alisa Baskanovic. So, everyone, we got the amazing Cuddle Core to do Alyssa. Take it away. Let me know the Caesar 4 changes. First, we have um, during Rage, forward 2 3. Second hit, uh, change frame of height when blocked from 0 to plus 1. Shorten the recovery time after the move hits by 1 frame. What do you think about that change? Um, honestly, I think that change is, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty tame. Um, I think it'll help when, you know, Alyssa players want to, like, you know, after they do the rage drive, maybe they want to do like a jab or maybe they want to do like a um, like a, a fly two or, you know, something to create more pressure. Right. Uh, so now what I think happened is maybe it'll make it a little harder for people to step afterwards uh, or they can't challenge as easily. It gives her a little bit more advantage. So it, so it makes the rage drive, I think, more threatening in certain situations. I think that's really good for her because I do know there have been times where I've done rage drive. <laughs> I'm blocked. <laughs> and I'll go for something after and it'll get interrupted and I'm just like okay all right I, but but I think this will give her a bit more advantage and I think that's a very positive thing um you know because I think Alisa can be very straightforward um and I think the rage drive can now be used in a way that's like it can be used as pressure instead of just being used as a whip punisher tool now that makes sense that makes sense and then we got during boot free and during boot, during dual boot free. Adjust the motion since it was difficult for the opponent to do jump status to land a mid attack. So I think that's kind of like a bug fix. Yeah. So we don't yeah. have to go through that too much. And then we got during boot one plus two, the new move. So talk to me about this new move and, and, sh and demonstrate it to me because I feel like when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, this is, this is silly. Why does this character have it? but right. maybe you could kind of elaborate more on what use this move is uh, with Alyssa. Yes, okay. So yeah, um, two, uh, one plus two. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a high um, and it's an unblockable and it wall splats. So the thing about this move is, um, you know, at first glance, it seems like it would be really good, right? But it does have its disadvantages. Um, I think the move can be used very well as a pressure tool. Um, it's a good mix up between like uh, fly one, two, uh, or I know you say boot, but I know we also use fly. So, you know, we have fly one, two, fly three, fly, uh, fly uh, one plus two. So like, that's like mix ups between mid, high, and low. Um, mm -hmm. The thing about, um, oh, the thing about fly, uh, or sorry, boot one plus two is the fact that uh, it's like it's 27 frames, so it's slow, and she literally screams before she pulls out the chainsaw, so it is reactable in in, in, in regards to the audio cues. So you can duck it, <laughs> you can duck it, but um, you know, in the heat of a battle, you know, while you know you you and your opponent are duking it out, a lot of people don't duck this move. A lot of people don't duck it, and it's kind of like very um. You know, you kind of get hit by it and you're like, oh my God, so I'm going to push you a little closer because it also wall splash, as you see. And um, I think that's pretty awesome as well because I can also like delay my fly and then I can do two as well, just in case you think the, you know, and just in case you think the, the fly one plus two is coming out. So uh. I really think like, because you can delay it, see, like, I think that's where it'll come in the most handy. The fact that I can do fly and delay the move I do. So that mm. it kind of helps mask my fly one plus two. And I think that's really, really important. Um, some things that I found, uh, those, those are the pros I think in regards to it. Um, and that it gives this really odd wall splat, which I do, like I won't show it here, but I, I've tested it many, many times <laughs> on, uh, different, like, on different stages. And it creates like a re-wall splat kind of property and a floor break. Um, because I have chainsaws out. Um, on uh, Forgotten Realm. I think it's Forgotten Realm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, and and it's really useful there. I, I think I'm gonna try and upload that video because I think it's really uh, resourceful. Upload it, and if you if you do upload it, or even send it to me, let me put it here. Yeah, that, 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 I, um, 
one. So I did a little bit more searching um, for some additional stuff about Elisa's Fly 1 plus 2, her new move from Fly Stance. And um, it, it's a little weird because it feels like it's better for a balcony break, right? Um, <laughs> Because I think that's how, that's definitely how it, it it's coming across. Because it it, it 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 does connect at the wall if you like do a combo that works with that, like that. Like it it, it works, but it, it doesn't seem as uh, beneficial uh, compared to like you know a a balcony break. Like yeah, like that's super cool. And then you know we can go downstairs. Like that's that's really fun. It's it's really fun, but um I am gonna try and see what happens when um we have him tech like while getting up or getting up. Mm. Like we even get this weird wall splat sometimes. Which is odd. Like it <laughs> like it has these very inconsistent properties. Uh, on it, but um, you know the fact that it you know, it's like 27 Setup frames is 27. It's slow, but it also kind of makes the opponent re wall splat and sometimes I'm gonna try that one more time because it's very curious about how that works Yeah, that because it's a little off axis That 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 is so odd if I'm slightly off axis, it gives me like a, a re-wall splat thing or something. Like, it's so odd, but it's a little something unique to it, I will say. Let's try it again. Let's see. That! It happened again! It happened again. It happened again. Wow. Okay. I think there's a little potential there. I think there's some. I definitely think there is some. It's creative, that's for sure. Yup. Oh. Now go on, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. I think I might just send it to you because uh, it was just a, something really, really unique. It's not hard, in my opinion, to get. I, pretty, I got it pretty consistently, but using it, um, using it after, like, like in a combo is odd. I will say it like that. Um, like, if you walk forward, I'll kind of show you what I mean. Okay. Um, like, like, if I do, like... Like, see how oh. it's kind of... It's, it's slow. Yeah. So, like, I've, I had to test so many times, like, the way... Like, how many how many hits do I do before I do back 4-4 four, four to kind of mm. know that you're going to hit the wall? And will I have enough frames to... Like, is 27 frames enough for me to hit you before your body slumps to the ground? And I was testing that for like two hours because it's so particular, you know? And um, <coughs> so per personally, I wouldn't use uh, Fly 1 plus 2 to, to hit a wall. I would use it as, as Fly, like pressure between the, 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 you know, the mids, the highs, the lows, like I told you. Um, it just, just so I'm not trying to guesstimate where the wall is all the time because of the way the move hits and it, it's a bit much because um, I don't personally think it's used for that always um, but uh, the cons about this move is the fact that uh, it's steppable it's very steppable um, so say if I just do fly you can literally just step it okay that was a little odd <laughs> let me try that again yeah like you know like I said 27 frames so you're, it's, it's literally like you know you have the whole it's a bit it odd is. sometimes. Um, but you step to the right, correct? Yeah. That's why. Um, I think the left it's a lot more consistent. Okay. Uh, I tested this. Uh, I recall, if I recall correctly, it was to the right, where okay. it's like it'll catch sometimes. Oh, sorry, that was. Now you're good. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's actually the case for a lot of Elise's moves. Um, I think. Oh, sorry. Enough of them in fly, so that it kind of covers her and protects her. Uh, Cause her, you know, you sidestep her left. But the thing is that, um, like moves like fly one two, if you try and step, uh, okay. I believe to the right, it kind of like uh, tracks a little bit. Yeah, see, so stuff like that is to cover her, it's to protect her. Um, so yeah, it's sidestep left, but once she goes in the stance, it's not as like you have to actually consider 
which way you step more because certain mm -hmm. things track that way and also with chainsaws too um yeah <laughs> uh so just you know something small to think about yeah so apply one plus two side stepping it left is better um honestly it's duckable you can literally hear her scream before she does it okay like it's it's that slow <laughs> mm, okay but um but yeah like for the most part like even when i like try to hit the move like um n knowing that the opponent didn't duck it sometimes whips um because like i'll do like a tailspin or something and then i'll do up or three into into that and because it's like a little off axis it doesn't hit them so that's it's more of like a the range on it is very odd it whiffs a lot if it's not straight on with your opponent so sometimes using it as oki is not the best idea it's not that it's ter terrible for oki but it's not consistent enough with this hitbox to actually connect with the opponent and i've kind of you know I've, 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 I've experimented with this a lot so i think they need to just tweak they need to tweak the hitbox like the properties on it so that it actually connects more if the person doesn't duck <laughs> mm, yeah no, that makes but sense yeah i like it I like it, but it's very situational. And it should be faster. I think it should be like maybe 20 or 22. Uh, so, so I just, just so I can hit the wall. So if I do back four, four, mm -hmm. after I do like my juggle, I should be, and, and, and you hit the wall, I should be able to like pull out the chainsaws without my uh, fly one plus two missing. That's quick enough to do that is what I mean. Okay, cool. That makes sense. All right. So let's go on to down forward one plus two during destruction form down forward one plus two they changed time they changed the time when power crush start from frame six to frame eight now this one i feel like this change was pretty much needed anyways because there's no power crush that starts from frame six it's always usually frame eight so right. oh cooney is six cooney is six mm -hmm. yeah if i recall correctly yeah hers is really fast i i use it like crazy I did not know that. Yeah. So this <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really good. This one don't do the counter hit spin no more, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry my bad. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. I, 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 I uh, counter hit myself. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't like. Remember, it used. Did it not used to launch? Uh, no, only on airborne. I feel like it did. Okay, all right, cool. I'm not gonna say anything. I, I feel like. Because I, I thought it was, it, that was just airborne when that that was the case. Oh. Okay, cool. Like, hey, if I do this, what? Uh, hold on, let me. See, yeah, like that. that's the one. Yeah, that's. Because that would be it. cheap if that. Oh, I mean, not that I would complain, but I'm just saying, like. That would be kind of insane if she had that. No, I don't think she had that. <laughs> I was about to say, because that's, that's crazy. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next stuff. So she has down back one four, um, reduced the strength of pushback and made the move easier to land. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so it just lands easier. It doesn't whip as much, you know. So again, so, I guess that's like a, that's kind of like a bug fix. Yeah, it's just a connecting kind of thing. So now, like, for example, if like Cooney does like, or anybody, but I'll use Cooney as an example. I was mm -hmm. testing Cooney stuff. So if Cooney does like back turn, like mm -hmm. back turn into like her different options, all I have to do is sidestep, uh, sidestep right, down back one, four, and you know, it'll connect. Cause probably last season it probably wouldn't have, but it connects now. Even with her small body, mm -hmm. like I'm able to sidestep right, uh, down back one, four. So that's really uh... good. So yeah, you're able to like hit things more consistently. And in those kinds of situations you want to be able to. And because you get a huge launcher for it. Because, yeah, that was a problem uh, in, like, season three. It didn't always connect, even though you made a read. <laughs> All right, cool. So, we also have, moving up the list, we have up forward free, increase the lower range of the attack. So, up forward free. Okay, this. Yep. Which I personally think is really good in combos. Because, like, I use up forward three, two a lot uh, at the end of stuff. And sometimes it wouldn't always reach. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know this character at all. Oh, I can. Yeah, let's see if I can maybe get a combo in there. <laughs> oh, oh. We are on Parsec, so if anyone's wondering, it, this is the reason why. 
Yeah. I okay. could probably do it from a further distance, actually. Oh, probably a little too fast. So it's kind of like you still have to dash a little bit, but it's mm. the fact that it'll always that you uh, it'll always hit at least. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, so it'll, but yeah, it did whip before. It did whip a lot after, like, uh, I would do like full extended, like, you know, big boy combos. And then, like, if I tried to go for the up forward 3 2, the sometimes the two would miss. The two would miss. So the thing is, it's, it, they increase, it says they increase the rage, right? So it, it, it makes it consistent. So I can hit it every single time now so that's that's huge because that means it brings me close to you every every single time i hit that move and it's good amount of damage so. crazy a three two was amazing i think that move was so good crazy that is actually crazy all right but I'll, I'll, I'll classify that as a bug change um all right so we have three no we have four more moves um i think we could go through these ones quite quick because they kind of just damage from what i'm seeing and frame advice so we have destructive form during destructive form forward one change the frame advantage when when blocked from plus no this this one this one's plus two to plus three oh, okay. and then we have during destruction form forward one plus two they change that one to plus seven to plus eight that's the one right that's the one yeah okay. so what move is that one the plus uh, forward one plus two one oh four one plus two yeah the one that has the combo wow. <laughs> <laughs> why did they I'm change that fan. Uh, you know i personally i sometimes i don't see why one frame makes too much of a difference but maybe i i still feel like they they want to promote people using destruct just uh destruct i can't destruct destruction <laughs> yes. destruction destruction stance yeah they want people to use it a lot they want people to use the sauce they want people to use the chainsaw stance mm -hmm. so i don't know what changing it from one frame higher does Cause it still has hella advantage anyway on block. Um, it just, mm -hmm. I think it just further locks the opponent in. And um, like I said, it just promotes this, it just promotes people not pressing more. And um, yeah, it, I, I mean, it would have been a crazy jump from like, if they said, okay, this is plus five to like plus seven, plus eight, mm -hmm. but it's not. <laughs> um, so I think it's just to make people use it more, which I'm okay with cause it's one of her best moves from um the stance yeah no nah, it's definitely definitely an annoying move that move is crazy yeah you think you step it sometimes you don't it's kind of like it kind of like kind of sucks you in you know yes yeah sucks you in exactly. all right so we've got two more so we have down two which they change their damage from five 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 to three 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 twenty now yeah that is crazy and I, you know, me personally, I wasn't real. I was never using this move, but once I found it, like you know, once I was reminded about the move in the list, yep. I was like, <gasps> and I'm like, it's not like people are just blocking low all the time. So I would, I would use at the wall, dude. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's so, so scary. Yeah. So that's like you know the two versions where it's just you know down two, and then there's like you hold, hold it. And yeah, so it goes from like it jumps from like 29 to 32, which I think is you know it's the difference between killing somebody and not. So definitely like 20, 20 damage if like five 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 and then three 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 twenty is a to me that's a big difference. It's a big difference. Yes. Yet again, what does it promote? Chainsaw stance. Again. Yep. <laughs> yep. So it's like you know, yet I, I mean I think it, it's forcing people to become more creative. Uh, yep. with what they're doing um which because the character in my opinion is very straightforward yeah the whip punishing machine you know her 50 50s are kind of there but they're like she kind of she forces you to do something kind of more with movement so it's kind of like kind of helping the least of players i think by using chainsaw stance as a way to generate maybe more formidable 50 50s yep definitely or, yeah all right cool so we've gone over the patch notes I I've asked everyone the same question I'm going to ask you. Basically, I wanted to know what are the strengths and weaknesses of Elissa? What are the strengths and weaknesses of Elissa in Season 4? Oh, okay. The strengths and weaknesses of Elisa in Season 4. Honestly, I don't feel like uh, she's changed that much. So, um, 
so I know that people have said like because we have like that five HP left kind of at the end, mm -hmm. and the fact that like that's a thing, and that the health has increased. Uh, right? I think that's what they said. Yep. Right? Yep. Health's so increased. what happened? Yes, she's already a turtling kind of character. I don't think her goal is ever to get rid of somebody quick. She's that's what she's made for. She's made to chip away and poke away at you to make you do something. It doesn't matter how long or quick it takes. Because she's a turtley kind of character, I think she's supposed to play a slower kind of game. So it gives her time to kind of break you down. And um, I, honestly, I think this works very well for her. I think that's going to be a strength for her because she's a turtley character. Um, we can kind of, we can, we don't have to worry about oh the clock. Okay, well you know a certain amount of health. Like okay, well if they hit me this amount of times, then I'm gonna you know die. Well no, I can play around with more of my health. I can be as you know more defensive. I can wait. I can make you whiff. Like I can play around with that. I can be strategic with it. Um, you know, so I can. I think for Lisa, as a Lisa player, you can establish more of that movement. You can kind of feel out the match more this way because I do think I, I don't think she's actually a first to two kind of character unless you play her that way. Mm -hmm. uh, naturally, I don't think she's like. I think she's. <laughs> you have to play her a little faster and those kinds of things um, compared to like Xiao Yu or like Chloe or somebody. You know. And um, so I think that's a strength for her, you know. And in general, the whip punishment, um, and the fact I know that the damage has kind of been toned down, and that's fine too. Mm -hmm. um, but like honestly, I think she's she's in a good place because um, you know, like the whip punishment, the just her movement, like she's fine. Um, the new move didn't do too much for her. Um, I think weaknesses, I mean, in regards to season four, um, I do feel like maybe sometimes in regards to that um, five five HP thing, and sometimes I think there might be a little bit, a little bit more of a scramble for Elisa mm. <laughs> because her damage is not that high when it comes to the wall. Yeah. And so then I have to make you guess again. And if I, you know, if you guess right and you do something and I die because I, you had the five HP, that's kind of one thing. I could say that as a weakness because, um, yeah, her wall damage is not that that mm -hmm. high at all. Um, we spoke about this in the Lost Teach Me as well. The damage yeah. and, and against the and wall. Because, exactly, because they scaled it, <laughs> that mm -hmm. uh, I could see that being a problem. Um, but that's okay because uh, it, you know we we still have we still have a lot of health to play with, so mm -hmm. we could capitalize on making people pay for a whiff. Making people pay for pressing somewhere. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to just, you know, balance that out. Um, but I think overall, like, her, her strikes and weaknesses are the same. Just a little bit of a difference. Only because Namco kind of changed how they would they, they, they would do the, the, the balance overhaul. Yeah. So they changed, like, you know, they changed it. They changed the thing, so it did affect some characters. Um, like, shoot, I think, for example, like, a faster character who's more, like, 50-50 heavy. Shao Yu, she has a new low, right? Yep. But we're still playing that like fast paced game and she doesn't do a ton of damage all the time. She's doing more 50 50s and all that and stuff. So she has the damage, but you know, it's a time thing. It's it's the five HP. See, yet again, like she she's trying to kill you quick because the longer she'll use in a match, you know, you start to catch on to things. It's, you know, it makes it a little bit harder, I think, for you to like kind of just stay in the match and like, you know, change around what's going on. Like it's. She's the kind of character we want to beat somebody really quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so they don't catch on to anything. Um, so it definitely did affect some characters because the the quicker we get done with the match, the the, the more you don't find out about what I'm trying to do in this round. But because the health is is, is uh increased, five HP is there. I it's definitely affect it's definitely affected Elisa. It's definitely affected Xiao Yu. But I think for the most part, Elisa has been affected in a positive way, um, because of it, because she's a turtle character, like I said. Okay, cool. So, this question is the last question on the Teach Me episode. I ask everyone again. So, this question is: If the developers said to you, you could have one change of Alyssa, good or bad? Like they said to imagine that, that they said they went to the players, content creators, everyone, and they said, "Hey, we want to change one thing with each character. What would be the one thing you change?" Uh, <laughs> I think I've got one for Alyssa. I think. They should make sure that when Alyssa's in her destructive form, I think she shouldn't be able to have block. Because I think most of her stuff is ridiculously plus. I'm not saying right. that it's OP and anything like that. I do think it's ridiculously strong. 
But I do feel like the way how they've changed Tekken or in season, um, not even season, sorry, Tekken 7. Like Marduk, for example, Marduk used to be able to block in Valtudo's stance. Yes. And he can't no more. <laughs> like you literally have to go in that stance and you have to take a risk. And that's what Tekken 7 is all about. Tekken 7 is all about putting people in mix-ups and taking risk with it. Like people that have like old school that play Tekken Tag 2, Tekken, 7, Tekken 6, they could even tell you, even the older games like Tekken 5, it's all about, you know, trying to like movement trying to come in poke heavy this game is not really poke heavy anymore this game is more like yeah they changed up plus eight you're in a mix-up you're forced into a mix up plus five you're forced into a mix-up now and because movement is nerfed you're you're forced to deal with these situations now i feel like Alyssa, she's very good at like you know when she's in that stance, she's very good at either just annoying with mid or the low or she could go around you like if you press a button she could go around you and hit you homing Oh, yeah, or she can do one plus two as well. Because if you try and step, she could just hit you with that too. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, I feel like she shouldn't be able to block in that stance. And it would give Alyssa more of a, you know, I think people would want to use the stance just to kind of, like, you know, enforce, like, oh, yeah, I could press a button. But, oh, no, like, I can't now because she's pressed the button. But now that she, she can block in the stance, everyone's just like, well, there's no point to press a button. There's no risk. Why am I gonna press a button? I have to be safe. Right. So it's 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 like the mind games to it don't really exist all the time because you know people just they're like, well, she, she, since she's so safe, why am I gonna press anything? It right. doesn't instill any fear. Yeah, that's a really good point. Right. So, so that, like, yeah. yeah. So that's that's my one. I just feel like that would it would enforce more fear on the opponent to want to press buttons because it's like, all right, here's my chance. She's in stance. I could press, and then it's like, oh, okay, you know what? it would be more better like now i don't press against Alyssa now when she's in that stuff i'm like well let me stay back do you know what i mean right right it's like why would you even press the situation because yeah. you know what she has so you kind of just you know you know start wiggling your way uh you know away from her because you know she's what her options are so like why would you challenge when you know she's super safe you can block from it exactly yeah. really good point very good point so i think that's a really good change yeah so what would your change be i want to know what your change would would it be the same thing or would you have something different uh honestly um i still am a super big i i like power crushes i still think i i would revert her hers back to six and that would be it six frames that's it no kind of cool come on man you, hey, you asked me. You asked me. <laughs> and I said, uh, that, that's what I, I, I'm telling. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mm. A fair change, a fair change, a fair change. <laughs> but you just said a change. <laughs> I, you know, it, it would be, it would, but, but what if, what if it mm -hmm. was like, you could launch punish it? Okay, that's a good change. That's a good change. Because then, because like when I played it, uh, for example, I'll use Cooney because six frames. Uh, her power crush. When I go against Cooney, like you can kind of like bait when they're gonna do a power crush, right? Mm -hmm. And then you know, you sh if you can bait that, you know, why not get a huge reward for it? Make it 15 or 16. Um, so it, you know, it's not just using it; it's using it and risking. So it's more balanced that way. Okay, yeah. that makes a lot of sense when I when you think about it that way. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. All right. Well, Kaduko, thank you very, very much for, you know, taking your time out for the Teach Me Season mm -hmm. 4 Breakdown series. Really, really appreciate your time. You know, hope to see you around playing in tournaments. I know you've been playing online and I know you've got the Tekken God Omega. I'm really happy for you as well. I need to get my one soon, you know. But, yeah, like, really happy that you, you know, you're the first, you're the first one, first Alyssa in North America, right? Am I correct? Uh, yes, and the first one in the U.S. Bam. Ah. Boom. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't, I mean, you know, I've been, I didn't know how hard, how hard it was going to be. It's really long and drawn out and like stressful, but I loved it because it teaches you how to uh, have stronger uh, stamina, you mm -hmm. know, buff stamina. And uh, it's really important when you're playing. Um, and it's really helped me a lot with the online tournaments I've been in mm. um, because it like, really helps me with my my stamina because it's easy to get tired when you play um 100%. you know like because that's literally i feel like tekken is so physical like the, you know like the way you tense up the way you hunch up when you're watching the, you know and the amount of adrenaline pumping through you so i think 
getting that rank and just ranked in general now, I think, yeah, there are the, it's problems, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a lot that it teaches you um, and how to like adapt, how to store energy, how to hydrate. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. All right, you lot, you lot know what to do. Remember to subscribe, follow Cuddle Corner socials as well. They will be shown. End of the video. And yeah, take it easy, everyone. Peace. Bye, guys.